Let's look at the new folder features in Kittle and how to use them. All right, the first thing you'll notice now is when you click on uploads, you're going to see these folders here. So you see uploads and folders. If I click folders, it will show you the folders that you've currently made or have already generated. For example, this is where AI generated art is going to go. And here are where clipped images will go, meaning images you have removed the background from. So you can also click show all folders there if you want. So let's go ahead and test out and see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a prompt for a vintage rose. And so if we accidentally delete this for whatever reason like that, of course, we can always go back to our uploads and we can find it right here. Now let's go ahead and add that back and I'm gonna show you what happens when we remove the background. So let's go ahead and add this up like this. Go ahead and remove the background. And then when we save the project, you'll notice that over here, in our folders they get updated so we're going to go to clipped images boom there is the clipped image and this image will also generate in the ai generated folder after some time when it updates we can also select the image itself and add a custom folder so if we click this little icon down here at the bottom we can hit add new folder and then we can title this whatever we want for example if we want a series of botanical florals I can just hit move to folder, I'll label it as such, and then when we go over into the folders tab, you will see that there are botanical florals, and if I click it open, there is my image all ready to go. So let's go ahead and test out a couple of different prompts. I have already gone ahead and done a couple. We'll do one more for this old clock tower just to show you that when we go back to uploads and we click on AI generated images, sometimes the number takes a little bit to upload, a little bit of time, but there they are there. Now, if you want to remove something, you can hit the three dots and click delete. You can also remove an item from the folder as you see there. We'll go ahead and delete these two. Now, you also see that there are other images from the AI product background generator. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Here it is right here. I'm going to add an image very quickly. There are the bottle mockups I did in another video, which I'll link up for you to watch. So I've drug in this mock-up here of a hoodie. I've gone ahead and removed the background automatically there. And what I'm going to do is click Warm Studio. Go ahead and generate this background. You're going to see it pop up down here at the bottom. But what's also really cool is if I go back to Kittle, if I go back to the editor over here, and then I go and I go back over to the uploads and I click on AI generated image. The preview might not have been there, but there is the image right there for us to see. So there is our generated image completely ready for you to use. Now, one other way that you can make folders is for projects. You can add a new folder here in your My Projects tab in your profile, and then we can add a project to the folder. So you see right here, I want to add it to AI Projects move to folder and now that project is in that folder ready to be used at any given time now if you want to see other tutorials using kittle i have these videos here on my right that i know you're going to enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video